Hey Hollywire, I'm Lelon Bowden and don't forget to subscribe. What up, Holly Wire? We got Leland Bowden in the house. What up? Oh, you said my name right. Yeah. Oh, that's how you say it. <laughs> you know, speaking like phonetically, I was like, how could I write it out? Yeah. Like, L E E Lawn, L A W N Lawn. Like, yeah, like, that like, works yeah, for people. Like, right? Yeah. All right. You know what's funny is on the set of Annie Mac, like one day I see um, one of the ADs wearing a name tag that says, hello, my name is L E E L A W N, because people had such a hard time yeah. pronouncing my name right. That is super awesome. You got it. That is super <laughs> awesome. We are super stoked to have you here. Welcome Thank to the you. studio. Happy to be here. Um, so Andy Mack, killing it. Thank you. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> sister mom. Not many people would know what that term means, but you're the sister mom. I am the sister mom. What does that mean? Uh, so we start you out strong on Andy Mack on the first season. Um, you find out that uh, Andy's older sister is not her older sister. It's actually her mom, which is me. Mm. You feel very maternal on the show? You know what? I'm getting there. I don't think I ever felt maternal before the show. But then again, I was never on a kid show before. And so now it's like I'm watching the cast grow up before my eyes. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, someone has to protect them. Uh, maybe it's me. Maybe not. <laughs> and you know, on, on the show, you play Bex. Yes. And you know, you have a bit of a love interest. Are we sure if you and Bowie are gonna make it or not? What's the deal here? We all wanna know. I mean, you know, here's the deal. He's not going away, you know. If anything, we're, we're gonna get more Bowie. So I feel like for people who ship Bex and Bowie, they're gonna have a, a really fun time for season three. Yeah? Coming up, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they, they won't not see us. <laughs> and you know, so you're kinda, your character's kinda like juggling, should I you know, marry the rock star and be this at home mom, or do I really wanna dive into cosmetology and find out who I am? Yeah, yeah. I, think, I think Bex is trying to have it all, you know, and I think that she, she thinks she can. Like, I don't think she sees the career and the home life at, at, as at odds. Because for all of, for her, this is all new. You know, this, this is like a whole new world for her. She's never like had a steady job and had responsibility and, <laughs> <laughs> you know, she's been out on the road on her motorcycle, so. So is that, is that a lot like you in real life? Are you really responsible? Are you disorganized? Oh my gosh, I think that's how I connect to Bex. It's like, <laughs> oh, you should not see my apartment. <laughs> it's just a hot mess everywhere. And it's a skill that I'm working on, trying to get everything together. We have a game for you today, and it is called Story Association. All right, we got the wheel in here. Because you are so amazing at improv, we're oh gonna gosh. put you on the spot and test your skills. Oh boy. Are you ready? I, uh, as ready All as right. I'll ever be. Here we go, the Story Association wheel. All right. Halloween. Hall Halloween. Um, I remember one Halloween, uh, my little brother had a paper bag as, as, a, as a costume. And it was the weirdest Halloween ever because he went trick-or-treating with me and my high school friends. And we're like late high school, you know, we definitely should not be trick-or-treating at this point. <laughs> and we were driving around in the back of my best friend's dad's pickup at the time, whose brakes failed. And so it was like a group of us, oh my gosh, my parents will hear this story and they'll be so mad. It's okay, it's already happened, it's in the past, we're alive. Um, and, and we were like coasting through these hills without brakes. Spin the Sweet. wheel, spin the wheel. Yeah. Ooh, bullying. Bullying, okay. Uh, so when I was in middle school, I had a, a very eclectic set of friends. And I remember one day, and all my friends were a lot tougher than me. And I remember one day we were walking and like all these girls were talking about, oh, they better not start anything with so-and-so, I don't know, Monica or whatever, um, because we're gonna like get into a fight and we're gonna beat her down. And then I tried to be like a bad girl too. And I was like, oh yeah, and if I see her, I'll, and I couldn't think of anything to say. And like, and so I just was like, maybe they didn't notice that I just didn't finish my sentence. And they like turned to me and they're like, you'll what? I'm too, like, nice too nice for this. I'm like, I don't know. I don't know, like, we're, gonna, we're gonna beat her down. I don't know, I don't know. Spin the wheel. Yay. Just for getting close. Ooh, and it's tacos. It's tacos. Okay, so in college, um, there was a Taco Bell across the street from like the campus, and that's where I got like 90% of my food while I was in college. And when I cooked at home, it was just so sad and miserable. So that's all the time that we have. Wow. Wow. 
Leilon Bowden, thank you so much for coming by. Thank Andy you. Mack, catch it on. Catch her in her stand up and on YouTube, her hilarious YouTube channel. Um, you're such a rock star. What a pleasure to have you. Thank you so much. Yay. A okay, little, little dance uh, outro. little dance outro. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs>